Hey everybody, 849 and so this is about to be a whole rant. Please, please, please put your headphones, your earbuds, whatever you got in because I'm about to go in and let have about this community that we goddamn live in. Boom. So I went to the store. I was running some errands or whatever for my grandmother, running some errands for myself. You know, it's my day off or whatever the case may be. So I'm like, okay, let me go get a, um, go get a, what you call like a spinach wrap from the store because you know, late night, we used to go over here late night and they used to have real good sandwiches or whatever. I haven't got a sandwich from them in a while, but I'm like, okay, they got spinach wraps, whatever. So as soon as I go in and I'm about to order my sandwich, or whatever on the spinach trap, the guy asked me some. Oh, are you paying EBT? Or he said, Are you paying? No, he said, Are you paying with a uh, card or cash? I said, I got cash and card. He was like, No. He said, Do you have EBT? Let me. Uh, first of all, that that was the first strike. I feel like this, and this is on some G shit. If I was a white woman, because there's a lot of white people in this neighborhood. If I was a white woman or a person of another complexion, I'm not. I'm not gonna sugarcoat. If I was a white woman, he'd have never asked me that. He'd have never asked me that. He'd have never asked me. And he's like, Oh, try to play it off. Oh, you look rich. I said, No, nah, don't try to play it off. Cause you know, I got to call it like I see it. And I don't try to play it off. Ain't no ha ha he he hell. What are you talking about? Why would you, why do you think it's okay to ask me if I'm paying EBT? Oh no, because my machine don't work. But I'm going to get, remember I said the machine that he said about the EBT thing. Ask me about the EBT. Boom. So I'm getting a sandwich made. Now another lady walks in, a black lady. You could tell she was on drugs or whatever the case may be. You know, you know how, you know how I go in the hood or whatever the case may be. So I'm like, all right, fine. So the lady been there. So I guess the lady, I'm not going to say I guess. You know, she was, she was stealing chips. You could tell the lady was hungry. Now I'm not going to say it's okay for this lady to be stealing. I'm not. But this guy, this Arab, whatever, whatever, Yemen, whatever, wherever they from, tried to beat the hell out of this black lady. So I'm the only black woman. It's me. It's, I'm in there. Another older black lady's in there. She has like that walker thing. And it's like, Maybe like five or six black men in it. They had to be over the age of 45, 50. And nobody's saying that. And they just like, oh, this happens all the time. Happens all the time. I understand she won't for stealing. But my guy, you are not going to sit here and let a, another man. Expect, I don't care what race he is. But the fact that he's of a different race. To continuously disrespect black women. That shit is out of fucking pocket. That nigga was out of pocket. Excuse my language. He was out of pocket. That shit had me 38 high. So I'm like, yo, I said, yo, what you doing? He like, no, miss. She's stealing. She's stealing. So I'm like, yo, I said, whatever you want, just get it. Whatever you want, just get it. I'll buy it for you. I don't care what that, that lady could have wanted anything in that store. And I'm like, don't worry. I got it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it for you. And she's like, all right, thank you. I'm like, yo, but stop putting your hands on her. Like, really had to break it. I got the picture to prove it. I'm going to post the picture. I'm going to post the picture because people are out of fucking line. And you know what? You know what really is so disheartening? Is that not one black man, not one black man in there said nothing to dinner tomorrow? Oh, we see this all the time. I don't give a fuck, Keisha, what you seen all the time? What are you, what are you saying? What does that even mean? What does that mean? I don't care. It's like people are so judgy. It is not okay for a man to put his hands on him. That lady did not. Yes, she was stealing. You could have easily asked her to be, you could have escorted her out. You could have did it in a, in a different, you could have different it in a different manner. You really could have, but he didn't. He was putting his hands on her like she was trying to fight him. I ain't gonna lie. She was trying to fight him. He just push her off. You notice what she do. You know what? I'm gonna keep it a thousand. If you know that this lady is on the drugs and she come in there every day harassing you, she was stealing chips. No so sure, so she's she's going out the door. He was like, Missy said, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to. I said, No. I said, take accountability. You know, you meant to. You meant to. You meant to. I was on the yo, I swear I was on the phone with my best friend. So she was like, girl, take a <laughs> Record it, record it. You should have got an iPhone already. Cursing me out. And I should have got my iPhone already. I'm being a Jew, but that's neither here nor there. So <clears throat> Boom. So now the lady, all she wanted, so she was like, can I just get these cookies? So she got, I got her the pepper, I, I got her whatever, whatever it is that she wanted or whatever the case may be. Now this is the coup de grace. Now remember I said, he said, oh, we don't take, we don't take no EBT. That's why I asked you. Now that was a whole insult. You know, ain't nothing wrong with food sense. Food sense is a beautiful thing. Cheese and rice. But you can't just automatically assume you only did that because I was black. Like don't fuck around. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's number one. Check it out. <clears throat> So the coup de grace is this. You talking all that big shit about this lady stealing and all this stuff talking about, oh, we don't take no EBT. So then I go to pay with my debit card. Like, you know, because I see got the machine go to pay with my debit card. He like, oh, it don't work. The machine don't work. So no, it not, it doesn't just not work for EBT, folio. It doesn't work for credit cards, debit cards, gift cards, your card, my card, they card. Fuck out of here. You worried about somebody paying chips? Pay your bills. Pay, pay to get that machine fixed. That is out of line. I am so sick. And you know what was just so bad? It's just like, not one black man in there said anything. Not one. Not one. That's not okay. You think it's okay for him to beat her up? I don't care what you say. Like, nah, it's not okay for him to put his hands on her. She didn't spit on him. She didn't hit him. None of that. She was fighting back. He was roughing her up, like pushing her up against the glass and all type of stuff. Like, what are you doing? If you don't like it every day, then fix it. 
fix it. This we you in our community. We ain't in yours. We ain't in the middle of bombs over Baghdad. We're not there. We're not in Yemen. We're not Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq. We're not there. You in Harlem. People are so disrespectful. Like the disrespect of the black woman is ridiculous. And it's like, I just could not believe nobody was saying anything. Like, yo, my best friend was going off on the phone. And I got these headphones on, so I know they heard her. <laughs> I got my food paid for, so that's good. <laughs> One of the guys in there going to say, oh, he said, as long as you around, every crackhead is safe. Man, you can make jokes if you want. I don't give a shit. Whatever. As long as I'm around, if I see some injustice happening, I'm going to see something, I'm going to say something. That's the problem. People are like, it's not my business. I don't want to get involved. You think it's okay to put him to put his hands on the black women? Everybody's always disrespecting us. Fuck out of here. Don't worry about how we just, we ain't even, we ain't on that conversation. We on a conversation of stop allowing men of all races disrespect us. How, how you, how I walk in the store and the first thing you tell me is, oh, you paying cash or EBT? What? What is even that? What is that? Won't you just say, you know what, um, I want to know if you're paying cash or card because my machine is down. You didn't say that. You asked about EBT. You asked about EBT. I should walk back over there. I feel like starting some shit today. It's my day off. That shit just got me hot. Oh, Lord. And it's so crazy. Not one black man in there said anything. They was okay with that lady getting her hands put on her. What is even that? Let me calm down. All right, I'm going. This sandwich is probably cold by now. I got a really good sandwich on the um on a spinach wrap. I'm gonna do a another snippet with eats for hour in a minute because I know it's. I mean, I know I'm cheating on my diet, but at least I I I'm gonna rationalize my bullshit by saying I got it on a spinach wrap. But it's, it's it's a lot going on on that spinach wrap, but I got it on a spinach wrap. What an eye, you.